Hi, this video is intended to show you how to go about creating quizzes in the Journal of Visualized Experiments, or Jove. This is a nice feature that's represented in this database. But first, how to locate Jove? Go to Wagner House Sciences Library by typing in usd.edu backslash library backslash Wagner in the URL box or under the USD's main web page under Quick Links Library and then on the right hand side, Wagner Health Sciences. Afterwards, you're going to come under the databases in the middle of the page. And here, you can go about it by either Control F if you have a PC or Command F and type in a Jove. Or you can go about it by selecting the letter J and selecting Jove afterwards, or you can search for the database here. All roads lead to the same path. Clicking on the hyperlinked title will take me to Jove. Remember, this is customized, hence I would have to sign in. But as a first time where you have to create an account, I do have an account already created. I'm going to log in directly. As you can see, I'm signed in now. To create a quiz, come under Education, Jove Quiz. It would open to the help page directly, which is nice because it would always remind you how to access your quiz data. And it gives you some tutorials about it and how to use Jove within your learning management systems like DDL, Canvas, Blackboard, so on and so forth. But to create your quizzes, come to My Quizzes, click on Create a New Quiz. You have here three ways. First of all, let's name our, our quiz. Let's select the type, whether it's graded or ungraded. The timing also. And first, let's select a subject. So let's add a subject, which is whatever biology or nursing start date assign it end date also you can assign it the quiz duration also is say 30 minutes and this is the first activity now when you have the first activity you can come and click plus if you have a playlist already you can upload it directly here you can add a blank question, which is you would be typing in the question and the options and selecting the right answer. You have also the option to upload an image. Or if you can see here under the eye icon, this would tell you how to go about it, the steps on how to go about adding a question. Or I would remove it. Remove question. Or I would come about it by adding a video from Jove. Either you search for the Jove article or you select one of these videos. I'm going to select, for instance, this free sample, the first one, coronavirus outbreak, the COVID-19. And you can also sort by research, education, and advanced upon searching for the video. But just for the ease of time, I'm just going to go with you with this. Upon adding the video, questions would directly add by themselves with the options and with the right um, or the correct answer selected. If I wanted to add another activity, I would come and say plus, and then I would go to activity number two. The same thing can be done. I can either add a blank question, import a playlist, or add another video with multiple choice questions and the correct answer highlighted as well. And when I'm done, I click on save. This would take me to the dashboard in which my under my quizzes, the quizzes that I have uh, done already. This is the last one which has been done. Test one and it's graded. V view, edit, distribute. You have to distribute first by copying the URL or sending invitations by email and these emails. 
So it's either you share the link, you copy the link and you share it wherever you want in a text of an email that already has a list of emails of the people you want to send them to, or you can type the emails here separated by comma so that you have a comma separated string. You can clear the list. You can also have a personal message within it and you can send the quizzes. This is the way to distribute your quiz in order to get the results for it. Whenever anybody comes and takes the uh, quiz, you can see the results underneath here. You can also go back and edit or view your quiz. Or you can also remove it. And by editing, I mean you can change the type from graded to ungraded. You can change with the dates. You can add the more subjects. You can remove subjects, so on and so forth. So other than the quizzes that you created, you can see the quizzes that you shared, that you assigned, that you took, that was assigned to you. You can start it and work upon it. It shows the deadline, the progress, and you can also borrow one of the quizzes that are already done by Jove in the Jove quiz library. So you can see it or you can copy, view it or copy and edit it. So say I want to copy and edit, it opens, and you want to change with the question, you want to upload an image, you want to change with the answers, or add options, add more multiple choices, remove one of the multiple choices, for instance, and then you can save the quiz. You can add more activities again here. By clicking on plus and activities on the eye icon also shows down the breaking down of your quiz into different sections so this is also an additional feature for you to look at other than you manually so say again to remind you other than you manually coming and adding a blank question importing a playlist or adding a video i hope you found this helpful remember you can always contact us at any time. You can find us under About, Staff, in Wagner Health Sciences Library Staff, or under Contact Us. Have a nice day.